Hi everyone, with launch only now one day away, I just wanted to do a very quick video to cover launch times, pre-download, a few of the server problems we may end up facing, and a little bit about the sort of Twitch drops we've got and what's going to be available. To cover pre-download first, this is going to be opening up on the 27th of September, that's actually the day that this video is coming out, and that's going to be happening at 8am Pacific time, which is going to be 5pm CEST for those based in the EU. Based on previous builds, I'd expect that we're going to be having a download tire amount of around 40 gigabytes. That's fairly sizable for me, so I'll be needing basically all that pre-download time if I'm going to hit the game's EU launch times. In terms of servers though, things haven't exactly played out as I expected, and Amazon have opted to go for a staggered launch. So the EU servers will be launching first at 8am CEST, which is 11pm Pacific time. And so that will be the 28th of September at 8am for people in EU, and that will actually be 11pm on the 27th of September if you live in America. This will be followed by the South American servers opening up at 8am BRT, which is 4am Pacific time. The Australian servers are also going live at the same time, although that's going to be like 9pm AEST for you guys. This is then followed by uh, North America East Coast opening at 8 a.m. EDT, which is 5 a.m. Pacific Time, and finally uh, North America West Coast opening at 8 a.m. Pacific Time. I can kind of understand the reasoning behind this decision to not only sort of spread the server load but give players in different regions more appropriate opening times rather than kind of it opening up for them in the middle of the night. But I think it's going to have a few undesirable effects that maybe Amazon haven't considered. Firstly, by all accounts, player names and companies are thought to be global. So those in the EU will get access to names first. That's player names and company names. And I think this is going to likely result in a number of players from other regions trying to jump into the EU queue as opens so they can pin down and reserve their player and company names. I'd also say... For some people, and I think I'd count myself in this, a part of the fun of the game is that initial grind. And with EU players basically getting a 9 hour head start, this is going to cause a little bit of upset I think for some people. So I think personally I'd rather have just had a single unified release time, but at the very least I wish they would region lock player and company names and then confirm this by announcement, that would really make a big difference for a lot of people I think. Alongside the launch, there is also going to be some Twitch drops going on from the 66 content creators who took part in the battle for New World. So, sadly, you cannot get them from yours truly. But there is going to be, from these Twitch drops, a vine spun weapon skins, and they will be available for the first two weeks of the game. So you don't actually have to grab them on day one, don't stress about them, you've got two weeks in which you can do this. Furthermore, as part of Amazon's kind of plan I guess to integrate Amazon Prime into the game, they are offering Prime customers the pirate pack from launch, which is going to include things like a pirate character skin, a moat and 5,000 marks of fortune, and the marks of fortune are like the in-game currency for cosmetic stuff. Following that, a second pack is going to open up on the 12th of October with a sword skin, more emotes and a pack of crests. Honestly, it's not that surprising to see Prime getting integrated into the game like this, it was always going to be the case. and. Actually, with it all being cosmetic, I'm totally fine with it, I really don't mind. But anyway, we'll end the video there, I just wanted this to be a very quick one just to cover particularly the pre-release and launch times, because frankly it's pretty confusing. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video, any questions about launch in the comments down below, and we're going to have lots more New World videos on the way, so be sure to subscribe for lots more content. Thanks for watching guys, see you all on the next one.